So take a guess where I'm going, like random decision, about like 15, 20 minutes ago, just because 7.30 p.m. on a random Tuesday, you know I'm driving for GoPuff. I mean, you see it in the title of the thumbnail, right? Welcome. So here's the thing. It's my job to help you make money in different side hustles. GoPuff, it's new to me. Comment down below if you're activated, bumpy roads, or if you're thinking about driving for GoPuff, here's the thing. I have to go to a central warehouse. It's not far, I'm like four minutes away right now. Number one, I think it is super easy. There's something about GoPuff, and folks, I've done most every single major app and niche in this gig economy. There's something about GoPuff. You know, I've done a handful of shifts, and it's just so easy. Go to the warehouse, and then the way that they have it working for drivers is a delivery radius is only like 15 minutes away from the warehouse. So I know, worst case scenario, it's a 15 minute drive. Now, I'm almost there. I'm gonna show you the orders that I get through this shift. It's not gonna be a long shift today. The name of the game, listen to this, the name of the game for GoPuff seems to be how many drops, how many bin assignments can I get? So, you know, one bit assignment is for one customer drop off. If I can get three, that's ideal. Because so I don't have to, you know, yo yo, delivery, warehouse, delivery, warehouse. I can go warehouse and then three deliveries. All right, folks, done with both the drop offs. One was three minutes away, this one was eight minutes away. And guess what happened on these deliveries? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing happened, and that's, that is the good thing. We don't want problems, but here is something that I'm noticing doing GoPuff. And again, I've, I've done basically all of these delivery apps. <sighs> okay, uh, I'll be real with you here. I've always talked about two different strategies when you're doing like any kind of runs, anything. Food delivery, eh, it has to be one-off assignments, okay? It can't be like, you know, this isn't like a whole shift assignment, but it's either the volume strategy that is high volume, low dollar or the inverse. It's low volume, high dollar. And I'm beginning to find out GoPuff is the, uh, the first. It's high volume, it's more orders because they are lower dollar orders. Again, I told you here in Pittsburgh, it's 325 plus tip. I mean, there's no guarantee, right? You just get what you get when they give you these bin assignments. So we wanna hit like 20, our goal on the channel is always $25 an hour. Well, if each drop is its own assignment and it's 325 plus tip, I mean, you're, you're doing volume, you want volume, right? And it's like, you know, low dollar because it's a, a flat rate. Versus when I teach you about food delivery apps, that is my preferred, honestly. It's the high, you want the highest dollar orders and you don't want to, you know, you don't need to take a ton of them, like two, three, maybe four an hour, but ideally like three or so an hour to hit 20, $25 or plus if it's, you know, super busy like crazy. Hey, again, we're going handheld mode because I got another one as I'm pulling up to the warehouse. That's something that I do notice that, I mean, it's a volume game, I guess, with um, GoPuff, but if it's busy, it'll kind of let you know that like as soon as you get close, you get pings. And then doubly, I got this. So it's two bins. It's not like I got a ping for one bin. Two's good. I mean, ideally, I like three. So let's get these ones. Hopefully they tip and hopefully they're not super far away. Well, they can't be more than 15 minutes. Well, you know what I mean, let's go get it. So no issues on those ones, which is a good thing. Um, but let me ask you, when it comes to pay, because that's obviously why you're watching this video, is it worth it with all the other side hustles out there? If it's paying you, $3.25, let's just use my market, right? What else are you gonna rely on money-wise to make like actually good money, right? It's two things. One that we already talked about, the bonus pay, and then number two that we kind of talked about, it's tips. So take a look here. I've been noticing that GoPuff does show you the tip amount right after you complete the deliveries, which is nice because we're gonna need some tips here to make it worthwhile. I'm happy with the velocity, the order velocity, the volume of orders right now. So I am two minutes from the warehouse. That is perfect, super short. Get me the 325 plus tips and again, high volume strategy here. And that's also good because keep this in mind, the miles on your vehicle, I've driven 8.6 miles since I went online, like basically right at the warehouse. 
So I feel like we're well, right now we'll have a decent dollars to mile ratio. How much am I getting paid for the miles driven? But uh, hang with me. I got plenty more deliveries. Well, a good amount. I guess. And then stand to the end of the video. Of course, we'll go over the numbers. All right, good news. We got a request. Uh, bad news is our first single bin assignment, which is an ideal. I want stop after stop after stop. Yeah, one bin. And, and please do answer this down below. Can you get another request like while I'm waiting here? You know, if, if I don't immediately go pick it up or is it just like, this is what you get. We'll give you more bins when you come back. All right, I want you to take a guess as I'm pulling into the warehouse right now. One, two or the almighty three bin assignments i got one bin assignment <laughs> i got one again so maybe well, it's got to be i mean it, it's probably a sign that's slowing down i haven't done enough shifts to like know that definitively comment down below if you agree with that uh yeah one this i don't know if this will be the last one probably not but uh, all right, let's go get our one bin. We're losing the light. Can we squeeze in one more delivery? I think we can. I think we can pretty easily. Uh, I mean, here I kind of want just one bin because again, we're losing the light. But if they're all within a 15 minute window, right, then it should be fine if I get two or three. How do you think we're doing? Uh, we've officially gone night mode. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, funny enough, if you're an OG, you know this, but uh, in case you don't know this, when I started my side hustle in 2015 here in Pittsburgh, it was with Rideshare. And I would drive primarily uh, super late, 10 p.m. until 4 a.m. doing the bar rush. So last delivery, I had three bins. Remember I said I'd, I'd like probably want one because we were losing the light? I got three bins. Two were really clustered together here in the uh, north side of Pittsburgh. And get this, the last one, it's downtown, which I'm thinking like, oh great, I'm gonna have to navigate downtown at night. It's like hard to see stuff. It's actually at a apartment complex that's um, kind of joined to a closed Marriott. I did a shift where I had some problems with it. So it's super easy parking very easy which i'm glad i'm just hopping across the uh, bridge here and we'll be done you are looking at darkness pretty much but <laughs> i'll meet you back in the uh home base and we'll go over the numbers all right and i'm back clearly and i gotta tell you i get super excited to show you shifts like this like twenty dollars an hour like that's all right twenty five dollars an hour that's our goal on any app niche in this gig economy well, you know, I'm pretty new to GoPuff. Look at these numbers. This shift, 7.35 p.m. until 9.35 p.m., the gross revenue per hour surprised me, $63.18. There's a huge takeaway. I'm going to tell you about this and like any kind of new app that you're thinking about. The gross revenue per hour, $31.59, over $30 an hour. That is, that's ideal, that's astounding. That's like the top of the bell curve for gig earnings. I love that. Deliveries completed, staying busy, right? We got multiple three bin requests. I had what? I think two, at least one double bin request. We had two single bin requests. All nine deliveries left a tip, an average tip, kind of on par with other apps, $3.77. Business miles, smart. And let me know, is this evidence of, you know, that 15 minute radius that GoPuff has is a great kind of policy. That's a great thing. And I'm guessing if your marketplace is really large, like a large metro, you might have different GoPuff warehouses. And I'm kind of thinking, I think we actually have another GoPuff warehouse south of the city as well. Comment that down below. But $2.76 paid out per mile. I mean, folks, our goal is $1.75, a floor of kind of $1.20, $1.50, 276 Based on those miles, I get a tax deduction of $14.31. So here's the takeaway on GoPuff, on the shift, on the pay. Whenever you're looking at a new app, again, there's going to be growing pains. You need to do your market research. You need to understand, start to learn some trends in your specific marketplace. Because if you didn't watch this video, my first shift, I mean, 
I've done some super early in the morning. I had a 8 a.m. Go Puff shift. I had a 7.30 a.m. Go Puff shift. And those were both super slow. I know the one was 15 an hour. I think the other one, I don't know. It was probably even worse, maybe 12 or 13. I can't remember. But I did a mid-afternoon shift. I believe that was $20 an hour. And this is what, 7.30 p.m., 30 plus dollars an hour. So we're learning that the peak time for GoPuff, it's maybe similar to food delivery, but an evening run in this case, this is kind of even later than food delivery. Why? Because GoPuff delivers essentials, convenience items. So let's say if the workforce is done at like five, you know, you might you have dinner or maybe you order food delivery right? Because that's when food delivery is busy, maybe 4.30 to 7.30. Well, this might be a case of like, oh, I forgot this stuff. We're out of contact solution. I don't have any for tonight, toilet paper, et cetera, whatever it is, or just snacks for kind of a evening crowd. So I'm really excited to see, is this like the best time to drive for GoPuff? Is it, I would say maybe 5 p.m. onwards for those convenience items. Really curious about that. Comment down below. If you got a value in this video and you enjoyed seeing a GoPuff shift, because again, this is all I do. I help you make money in different side hustles. Drop a like on this video. Helps out the video and the channel greatly. Appreciate that. You can also click or tap the screen here for my newest video, as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.